Hello, grindy tubers, and welcome back to Arena Abuse Emblem 4 with me, Blue Ankylo. Don't worry, we'll get to the main chapter deployment eventually, but it might not be this episode. <laughs> Last episode, we started chapter 4. We had a long, long dialogue between Sigurd and uh, Lewin's mom, and eventually they found out they were under attack by one of his evil uncles, as you do. We've begun working our way through the arena, although we didn't get as far as I would have liked last episode. Um, such is life. Such is life. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, for today, you know, we want to get through anybody who can and set up our kind of weapons and stuff before we deploy. Mind you, I think I could send off Sigurd right now just to get him out of here. He's got lots of money. He needs to talk to Claude, but that doesn't need to happen instantly. And, uh, you know, it's just... He doesn't need to change his weapons, right? Like, he's one of the things about Sigurd that's special is he doesn't actually need Brave or, or anything weapons. He's uh, he's pretty good anyway. So, let's just send him out so it looks like we made some progress. And I don't know for sure what we're going to do with everybody just yet, but there's a road and really only one way to go. So, there you go. Theoretically, as long as I can deploy a couple people, we should be able to save these villages fairly quickly. It's really more getting in range of all these mages that's going to be dangerous, so... Oh, also, by the way, I missed this last time. Sleep! So, we're going to need that restore staff on someone. And, uh, lots of mages. Lots and lots of mages. But, Sigurd is pretty fast. He might just be able to pick off some, some axe guys, save the villages, and then stay out of range. We'll send him some reinforcements, don't worry. Uh, speaking of reinforcements, Lex has also completed the arena, and he has nothing... Oh, he's at 1 HP. Ha <laughs> ha! We want to heal him before we send him out. Um, is there anyone else I wanted to... Ira's done, but I might change her weapons around before we go. Holin failed. Might change his weapons. We could probably do the mages. Let's do the mages next. We don't have enough money for the, uh, the paragon. Yeah, we'll go for some magic now. So we got Telta... Lewin and Azel. Where's Azel? I think he's up first. He's got no money, of course. No one's no one's got any money. Anybody here could buy the Wind Tome. So basically, Azel's options are Thunder, Wind, or Elfire, as far as like fighting in the arena goes. Holin or not Holin. Shh. Come on, Blue. Lewin already has probably the best magic he's gonna get until we find uh, a, a, an A rank uh, Wind Tome. And then Teltia also has the best spell she's going to get. Actually, let's send Teltia in next. She's not going to be able to afford the Paragon Ring no matter what I do. Unless we do... Unless we do... He doesn't actually have enough money. I, I should remember, I can give someone some money from Dew. And that will get them a Paragon Ring, should I want to do all that. Uh, someone that's a little bit off. Like, could be Lewin. Could be Azul. It might be worth getting Azul. A Paragon Ring, because if he can survive the... I'm not even sure he can do the Arena, though. Like, It makes the most sense to buy Paragon Rings on people who can definitely clear the Arena. Anyway, let's go with Telcha, because I think she could, she wouldn't have enough money anyway. Unless we sold something, maybe. I'm not going to really do this, I just want to see. And she'd have to like sell Thoron, and then hope that that's... Yeah, I think Dew could get her a Paragon Ring with no Thoron, but whatever. We're not going to bother. Her plan... Because of her her skill is to um, lose and then kill on the return. It's kind of weird. Although, if she takes a hit and goes below 50%, she gets an auto-crit herself. Now, magic duels are very flashy, and I definitely appreciate the looks. But they also kind of take a while. So, we'll be speeding through this a fair bit. I think she's going to struggle with the brave enemies. Because she's, she's pretty frail, and uh, if she gets two shot, and they go before she goes, then there's not much she can do. Other than try to get a lucky dodge. But so far, she just one-shots everything with her crits. Yeah, this is where it's going to get tricky. So, she needs a dodge, and now she needs two dodges. Which is possible. So I guess we just spam it. And as long as she hits, uh, oh, that's not good. So she needs four dodges to win? Ew. I mean, it's possible. 
60%. So what are we looking at? Oh man, this is not good. I thought she could be one-shotting these things. This is... This is pretty bad, actually. So she's only going to get double dodge. It's a bit better than 50-50. So it's a bit better than 25% of the time. Let's say 33% of the time, approximately. She will get an attack. It should be about 1 in 9 that she gets 2 attacks. But she does not have 100% accuracy herself, so she still misses some. And it doesn't feel like she's getting the double dodge very often, even though it should be 1 in 3, I think. Yeah, if it's 1 in 3, then she has to survive 2 1 in 3s. This... I feel like this shouldn't be this hard to do. Yeah, there you go. I feel like it took longer than it should have on average. Anyway, magic up is really good because that affects her crits more. Now she might have been able to one-shot that guy, but anyway. Um, well, we'll see how she does here. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell how Telltale will do in advance. So that puts her in crit range. She doesn't one-shot, though. So she needs a dodge here. And if she gets hit, she needs two dodges. And two hits. So I think it's slightly better odds, because it's the same hit rates as the Pegasus Knight. Except she only has to dodge twice instead of four times. And she actually dodged three times and missed one of her hits, so... Alright, Taltia, you're not very good in the arena, I gotta say. So he's got a 50-50. If he ever hits her, she gets to crit. She probably doesn't actually one-shot him. I'd like her to get hit once, actually. This should, as long as she doesn't miss, this is it. Taltia. Alright, so now she needs four dodges and two hits at 50-50. Still better than the Pegasus Knight, and we beat the Pegasus Knight. So this should be about, well, I'd say one in four, but her accuracy drops it down a bit. Let's say one in six odds, give or take. There we go. That's great. Telta, I have to say I'm not super impressed with. Her skill is fun, but her actual damage output. Well, she goes faster than him. So when she comes back, she'll crit him on the first shot. Oh, she's got 100%. Actually, does she win this? 66 minus 10. Yeah, she's got it. Guaranteed crits round two. So, okay, this was the easiest fight in the... You have to dodge this, Talchip. Alright. Easiest fight in the arena for her. The only one she didn't have to die on. There you go. I guess Pavice blocks crits. Isn't that great? Is anyone surprised? I think Luna is the only thing that breaks Pavice. Well, at least she gets a pretty good level up to make up for some not amazing ones. Alright. Good job, Taltia. Maybe you'll be able to afford a Paragon Ring next time. I'm probably just gonna... I'd like to see everybody get promoted. And there's, there's not a lot of game left for her to get promoted. She's probably not getting promoted this turn. Or this uh, chapter. Anyway, so... One important thing for Talcha is I want to keep her nearby Azul so that they can start getting uh, loving points. Uh, we're going to do Azul next. He is not going to have enough money for the Paragon Ring unless we spend Dew's money on it. Which we could do. Oh, I think, yeah, Dew's already love. So technically, one thing, I hadn't even really thought of this. Ira, yeah, 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 we're going to do this. Ira can give her spare money to do. I, I totally forgot. Because Dew can give money to anyone, he's sort of got 100,000 worth of stocked cash he can hold on to. If he's at 50k, he can give money to Ira and hold on to it, and then she can give it back to him, he can give it to somebody else. So that's kind of a, a definite perk of getting Dew a lover fairly early on. Kind of doubles his gold capacity. So we can also transfer Ira's money around, which is maybe something I will do, because she's already promoted... She doesn't really need cash for much right now. I was planning on selling her renewal band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's... If anyone mentioned that in the comments, thank you. But I, I did figure it out eventually. <laughs> Oops, no!
Hold on, hold on. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but the, uh, the button I thought would do what I wanted it to do didn't do it. Maybe this will work. Do we have the option here? Come on. Sup Zed SNES has a rewind button. I'm trying to find a rewind button in, in SNES 9X. Does it have a rewind button? Skip frames, fast forward, frame advance, pause, speed, plus, minus one. Page two. Come on, there's so many hotkeys. Layers, layers, sprites, layers. Oh, this is all just graphics. I don't care about graphics. Turbo mode, turbo, turbo, turbo. Don't care about any of that. Slides, saves. Quit, come on. This game, this emulator sucks. I don't think there's a rewind button in this. That's a feature that SNES 9X doesn't have, unless it's something I just can't see. Dang it. I didn't make any save states lately, so I don't have any way to re unwind it, unless I can rewind the game itself. Like, there might be an option for it somewhere, but... I'm just looking if there's any possible options I'm missing. Obviously, uh, using Rewind requires the game to, or the emulator, to sort of save a certain amount of, like, memory of what happened. It's not, like, a super simple feature, but... <sighs> Shoot. That's the only way I could have saved it. Well, it's not the end of the world, but I'm kind of salty, obviously. Ah. <laughs> so, Ira could still give him his money, and then next turn, or if we dance, we could... Okay, don't... See, to, to explain what I was trying to do... Well, I can't do it right now. But, um, I was trying to move, obviously, to Azul, but I did not expect the cursor to jump that way. I thought it was going to go down, and yeah. Should always go slow for un... <laughs> anyway, my bad. We can dance and still do it. We're definitely not getting everyone deployed on turn one, so let's just accept that and just move along with life. Okay, let's do something slightly different here. Uh, we've got a conversation we should do. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, Talty and Azul are going to do their conversation a little bit later, but... Right. Aideen was going to talk to Medir. Aideen had to heal, so this didn't happen. So... If we dance, I think we can dance for three people in here. I wonder if you can just dance for the whole... Okay, science time. I haven't made any good save states. We're gonna... I think if I send some... I, I really just want to check something, basically. That ends his turn. Yeah, okay. If you dance inside the castle, how does it pick who gets refresh, right? Like, or is it everybody? It might be everybody. That was five people. Ooh. Now that's interesting. I could definitely have used that in my organizational strategy. All right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if if Sylvia dances in the castle, she can just refresh the entire army in one turn. So everybody in here can do two actions per turn with her, essentially. Well, she can do one, but... Okay. That's neat. Um, so what am I going to do then? Uh, sorry, I got all confused. Telch's finished the arena. Cool. Um, the archers could either try the arena or wait until they get next turn where we're going to get, uh, a new weapon for them, which should make the arena a lot safer. We could try, yeah, I guess we'll try Alex, seeing as he's got all this money. He's the best of the of the Alec and Noish combo. So he's going to need the Brave Sword to have any chance. And might as well give him the Paragon Band because he has money. How far do you think he'll make it? Now he has Pursuit, so when he has Speed Advantage, he'll get four attacks per round, which is pretty good. I hear, I hear tell. Skill, speed, HP, better than nothing. He goes first. So that's an auto win. I'm just going to 
speed through a fair number of these. I'd really like to finish all of our castle management in today's episode. Alright, he just crushed that guy. Forest Knight couldn't even touch him. Alex trying to prove himself that he's not bad, but then he gets a level up with 1 HP and he's bad again. Alright, this might be a bit tougher. Weapon disadvantage and Brave Lance is pretty strong. So he takes 17 damage, 34. He got two dodges, that's pretty lucky. Yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's faster, because swords are light. Swords, you know, it's funny. You know, weapon triangle. But because of the sword's lightness, they're still kind of better than Brave Lances. I <laughs> uh, should win this one. It takes one hit and then gets a lot of attacks. And hey, that's a good level up. Skill, strength, HP, and luck. Good job. Alright, Alec. You're starting to come around. He should win Brave Axe. This might be Alec's first time winning the arena. Assuming assuming he wins. Uh-huh. That was a 1 in 16 chance to get hit twice. <laughs> at 25%. And of course, that's what happened. As soon as I get my hopes up, some nonsense like that happens. We just now need two dodges at 25 he has been hit three times in a row at 25%. Thanks. Thanks, Fire Emblem 4. Thanks, Kaga. That's four times in a row at 25%. We're now in the realm of... 1 in 4, 1 in 16, 1 in 64, 1 in 256. Now we start getting our odds back in our favor. Four straight 25% is, I think, a 1 in 256 chance. Unfortunately, we're going to need to dodge four of them, which is going to be the... No, less. It's the other way around. That three quarters times to the power of four is possible. I think he can win, but... Ugh. I think he can win, but I'm going to put a save state down. If he breaks the sword during the trial, then, uh, then he's done. Unfortunately, he needs four dodges. Four 75% dodges in a row. He should have won this the first time he came in here, where he could take a hit. But he did not. Because he could take one hit out of four strikes and he would have been fine. But now he needs to dodge all four. Hey! It didn't take too long. I still think he had reasonably good odds of winning, but... Um, well, reasonably. I'm Not great, but he had some odds. Like, I'd give him, like, maybe 10% or something. But, he is... It's promoted. I'm kind of glad I grinded it out for him because he's been pretty poor for a couple chapters now, and I think the promotion is the only way to save him. At least he's a pursuit paladin, right? Oh, I didn't upgrade my slides. I'm going to finish all my grinding before I do that. 3 skill, 2 strength, 3 speed, 5 magic, 3 defense, and 5 res. Not really great stat gains. Compared to some people, like, that, he's still pretty bad. I mean, now he can use silver, he can use the brave lance. He didn't get any skills. That's still pretty bad. I mean, it's it's an upgrade. He's definitely better. You know, you can see, like, a noise. He's, he's got a, quite a few stats on noise now, but... It's, some people were getting like plus 5 or plus 7 strength and speed. He got like plus 2 or 3, which is, yeah. Alright. Let's see if he can finish off the arena. I might only try it once. I don't know. I probably will try it more. But he used up his entire Brave Sword on that last fight. <laughs> He's running out of money. Uh, Maybe. He got some resistance, right? Plus 5 resistance? Like that makes any difference at all. Uh, so 24 damage. It's actually not even enough to survive two hits. So 50-50 to get hit. Kills in two rounds. He does nine damage. Gets four hits. Um, he wins in four more hits, but probably Pavice will hit once of those. So he actually needed a dodge to have more of a guarantee, but he should win now. And he didn't get any Pavice. All right. Makes it look easy, but really he should have been hit once. And he should have blocked a couple of those with Pavice. Yeah, there's my level up. That's my 
Alec. All right, on the good uh, the good news is he did clear it out and he got promoted, so could be worse. I think someone else can It's actually in this situation I think it's always better to sell it at 0 because we either pay full price to repair it then get half of it back and pay full price on the next person. So he loses out on half the price, half the repair fees. Or someone else buys it for free and repairs it for full price, which is the same they would have paid if we'd repaired it first. So in this situation, I think you want to always um, sell before you repair. I think. Uh, also, don't let me forget. Damn important to sell this. Oh, and seeing as he's got a B in lances, do we have any... Steel lances? Yeah. We've got two steel lances. We might as well upgrade them to that. It doesn't make a huge difference, but, you know, four more damage if I ever use it. But he doesn't actually get A rank in swords, so he can never really use a good sword or a good lance. Well, you know, Brave is good. The best, even. But, alright, that's about as good as he's going to get. Uh, who's next? Noish? Could Paragon ring it up and give it a shot, I guess? He's not going to have enough gold to fully repair the Brave Sword, but that should be okay. Now, he'll probably have a harder time in here than, uh, than Alec did. I guess you still spend a thousand even on a Broken Sword. Hopefully he can repair it enough. We got it up to 19, that's fine. All right. Now, if you can't win at least one round or a couple more rounds, I'm going to be real mad at you. Come on, Noish. You can crit, so he's got a chance to do extra damage every now and then. All right. Come on, Noish. Don't let Alec show you off. Show you up. Misses an 86%. Man, he doesn't do very much damage. The crits are good, but not reliable. Okay, strength defense. Good for Arena. I mean, he doesn't really need speed as badly because he doesn't get Pursuit. So Strength and Defense are probably the most important for him. And they are his Strength as the Red Cow. Alright, Adept right off the bat sucks. Two Adepts, that's unlikely. Wow. That's four hits in a row at 60% and two Adepts. That was pretty unfortunate. Uh, is there any way he wins this? At one? He needs a... A crit will do 56 minus 13. He needs a dodge. And then a crit. He's like a dodge and then two crits. I don't think he's going to win. Noish? I don't... I don't think Noish has a future in our army. Oh, what? What? <laughs> well... Without Adept's proccing, he only had to dodge two 60s, which is possible, and he did manage to pull it off eventually. <laughs> what an upset! Alright, we're not done yet. Maybe this time, though. So he goes faster. Noish, how did he get two attacks? Oh, Brave Sword. <laughs> what? <laughs> like. <laughs> I forgot what he had equipped. Ah, uh, good old Ankylo. That's Ankylo strats for you right there. How do you attack twice? Yeah, it's a good thing he, he outsped the Brave Lance, because otherwise he would have died there for sure. Alright. Well, um, how's he doing anyway? Like, is he going to get promoted? No. Uh, well, 5, 6, 7. If he wins all these, he might actually promote. There's an Axe guy coming up at some point. But he has to beat a mage guy first. Maybe he can pull it off. Good uh, good accuracy. 14 damage. Yeah, he should win this as long as he doesn't uh, miss a whole lot. He can actually miss once. Oh, right. Only two. No pursuit. But yeah, he needed like one dodge of magic. And then he had a pretty much guaranteed win. All right. Noish. Can he, can he pull a come from behind? Come, come from behind. Whatever, not even really a victory. I wouldn't call it a victory. But he can he can he catch up with the pack a little bit? Because if we can get him promoted, he'll be much less poor. 
This is going to be tricky, but he does have the uh, accuracy win here. But yeah, he needs some good dodges. And a crit, of course, yeah. I still think he probably had odds to win on that one. Alright, so now even if he can't take out the final mage, he's close enough that he'll probably get promoted on this chapter as long as he kills something. But maybe he can just kill the mage. The, I, it is a mage, but it's a mage with Pavais and a lot of armor and HP. Oh, he's going to need some crits or something though. 71% is pretty high. He can only take one hit. He's not going to win in two hits. I... Mm. Does he have... How could he win this thing? He needs crits and... Like, if he opens with two crits, would he win? 60 minus 21 is... Uh, 39. Two crits would win right at the beginning. But the odds of double crit is pretty slim. Now, two crits out of four attacks is maybe possible. Oh, I'm gonna take a break here for a second, but we'll finish this one off and then I'll come back. One more try. Alright, we're gonna put a pause here and I'll be back and we'll see. Maybe I'll try a little bit off camera, but we'll be back. And we are back. Hello, folks. Sorry for the little cut there. And uh, while I was on break, I, I did sort of grind out that win with Alec. <laughs> It actually didn't take as long as I'm on. I felt I probably could have recorded it. It only took, let's say, between 10 and 20 tries. And then he survived, won the arena, and he did get a level up. And he got, uh, sorry if you didn't get to see it, but like a couple stat ups. Like, uh, one HP, <laughs> like usual. I think he got like one skill and maybe one strength. It seems like that's, I, I forget exactly. It's been a little while. I had to, had to take a break. Anyway, I'm happy that I did it anyway, because now he's promoted and I... Don't know if I'll ever, like, we don't have to worry about it anymore, basically. we While we had the Paragon Band, we got him through the arena with the Brave Sword, and he got promoted. Which means it was a really good time to do it, in my mind. Even if the odds were kind of on, not in his favor. So his horse changes direction, just like Alex and most people. His horse is a new color. Three skill, two strength, three speed, five magic. Why does all these paladins get five magic? So, I still think he's going to be the worst of the Paladins, but uh, there you go, that's Noish. The important stats, 20, 19, 13, 18. Uh, 20, 19, 13, 18. So, a little bit more strength, same skill, way less speed, and a little bit more defense compared to Alec. But, you know, compared to someone good, it's not even comparable. Now, I know Lex has seven more level ups than them or whatever, but he was better at level 20 than they were, by a long shot. And who else is promoted already? Uh, well, Rackless just doesn't count. Um, I wonder how Eren will be. I really wish I could have got her a win in the arena to get her to 20. Same same idea, one more fight would have got her promoted and then we could have just promoted everybody right together. Same thing with Holen, no. Yeah, Holen, if he had finished the arena, he would have also got uh, promoted for sure. Dang it, I, that, that sort of ticks me off that we had two people at least two people that were, like, a win away from uh, promotion. Maybe we'll try him again on the second turn. Because we still have some more people that are going to go to the arena, but not on the first turn. Okay, so what that means is, first, before I forget, get rid of the items that are not his. He does not own these. I I've heard that Beowulf turns out to be pretty strong. I think, from what I've heard, anyway, via my, my little places I look... The, uh, the Beowulf promotion are, is much stronger than the um, Alec and Noish promotions. But we'll see, assuming we get there. So I'm going to buy him the Steel Lance. Same as, uh, same as Noish, or same as Alec. Same as same. I think the difference is very minimal. And if we don't give either of these guys a bolt, uh, like a, a magic sword or a, a brave weapon, they're both going to be kind of weak. But I think they're already the weakest, and... The only reason I would give them a better weapon is to kind of balance them out so they're closer to Lex's or or Beowulf or whatever strength, but this just should be fine. So let's deploy them. Get them out here on the field. So this means I've got three paladins essentially out there moving forward. So even if turn one, we you know, not everyone's going to get deployed. 
That gets us at least some people heading towards the villages, maybe. It's probably not nearly enough, honestly. Alright, what else have we got? Lex, after he gets healed, can leave. Uh, Azul, let's see. So we were going to try to give him money for the Paragon Ring, because I think if I can get him promoted, he will be much, much better, because I think he gets a horse. And who else could use a, a bit more experience? Bridget is already promoted, so she doesn't need... Yeah, we're going to do Bridget in the arena right now. She doesn't really need the Paragon Ring the same. Um, what am I trying to do here? Funds. I just was looking at her. How much money did she have? 25 grand. She doesn't have a conversation. It's, uh... Yeah, it's fine. We'll do Bridget right now. She does already have a, uh, a pretty good weapon. <laughs> I think she's already the best archer that doesn't have a horse. So she doesn't really need to upgrade... Let's try to do the first couple fights with the Steel Bow, just to save money. The Legendaries are pretty expensive to repair. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, she should be the Steel Bow guy. No doubt about it. I mean, she's got Pursuit and Adept, I think, right? I'm just going to put a save in, because if she does lose... Oh, this guy's got a Flame Sword. I didn't know that. So, he switches to Flame Sword, I guess, on... Uh on ranged fights. Still, that's not that good. Plus, she gets doubles. And sometimes she'll even get a triple, I think. He got... I guess that's good information we just learned there, if you're paying attention. It looks like a ranged weapon, like a, a magic weapon, you can still get adept procs. I guess I sort of knew that because uh, magic did that. But I wasn't sure if the swords would. A lot of times in other Fire Emblems, the swords have kind of limited... Like, they do, like, flat damage at ranged magic, or you can't double with ranged magic, or something like that. So, I wasn't sure how Fire Emblem 4 would handle it, and it looks like they work just like you're casting the spell. You think she can beat Nene with, uh... I haven't seen Nene before, but you think she can win with, a uh, With no legendary bow? She kills in, uh, three hits, unfortunately, but yeah. Look at the, uh, difference in stats. Uh, the Mage Knight... Does she ever even need to use the Yuffle? Like, Bridget is just so good. She doesn't even need a Brave Bow or a Killer Bow. And it's not even close. Alright. Now, the Brave Bow, this is where I think you probably would be smart to switch to the Yuffle. But let's see. Oh, look at this. 34%? I know I kind of zipped through all the animations, but... You could kind of tell what was going on. He missed most of his shots. They each fired the same number of arrows. And that's a pretty good level up for the Bridget. Now, she's already promoted, so she doesn't get any, like, extra advantages at this point. But, uh... Alright, and then for rank 7 against the Baron, I will give her her Super Bow for this one. Just, I don't think it's even necessary, but it'll make it easier. Maybe a bad idea, because we're going to spend a lot of money repairing, um block shots. Alright, she got hit. She can take two of those. Oh, wow. Just throwing money down the drain. Three in a row? And then he hits two in a row at 40%. Fire Emblem 4. Are you friggin' kidding me? She needs, she needs three hits. I just threw away... Well, we... Oh, wait! The blocks don't count! Oh, they just... It only loses weapon durability if she actually does damage. She should be able to win this. I just... It's like she got just the worst... Like, yeah, she she kills in two hits. <laughs> but last time we couldn't even hit him twice. Wow. But we had like three blocks in a row, which is ridiculous for Pavice. Sometimes the way the random numbers work in this game, yeah, that's just what you get. All right, so Bridget, she's totally fine on her own. Now, there is, like, a silver bow somewhere, isn't there? Do we... Jamka has a silver bow. So, just to spoil you guys, we're going to pick up a brave bow in a second. I'm just trying to decide if I want to switch over the silver bow now, or... Wait. It's like, who who wants what? Midir can use silver or kill... Or brave or killer, but not silver. Maybe if we promote him, he can use silver. Jamka can use anything except the Yuffle, obviously. Um, I, Killer is pretty darn good. Pursuit, 
plus killer is also pretty darn good. I wonder what's better for Medir, the Brave Bow or the Killer Bow? And then Jamka is going to have... I mean, Jamka just doesn't get as much use because he's not on a horse. He will promote to be a sniper the same as Bridget. I think she just sticks with her current weapons. And then I probably leave Silver on Jamka. Because he's pretty good with it. Also, Brave is slightly less efficient on Jamka because... Um, Brave overwrites the Adept skill. So it doesn't really... They don't combo. Although, per, a cost would work. So, Pursuit, a cost Brave is pretty cool. And Medir has those two. Okay, so I think we want Medir to have the Brave Bow is kind of what I've decided. And then the question is, do we send the Killer Bow to Jamka? Because it was his bow originally, and it is really good. I think the Brave Bow will probably weigh the same amount as an Iron Bow. Maybe we just leave Medir with the Killer and the Brave. The two best bows, not counting the legendaries. And Jamka is just good enough with Silver. Or I can move the Killer down to him. Anyway, either way, we're not going to change uh, Sylvie, er, Bridget Jones's diary. Was there any... Um, there's no other bows. Like, if we had a second Silver Bow, I'd give it to her, I guess. But... No. She doesn't need any of the stuff. Pretty expensive repairing that Yuffle. I'll try not to use it too much. Although, she's got lots of money, but... It's a thousand gold per arrow, essentially. That, per hit. Arrow that strikes. I guess she just picks up the arrows that uh, miss and then puts them back in her quiver. Alright, so we can then depart her. Try to get this castle cleaned up a little bit here. Okay, who's next? Uh, let's see. Taltia. She cleared as far as she's going to clear... We're not buying her any more magic. I want to put her... But she needs to talk to Azel. So I can deploy her and sort of wait for Azel. That's fine. She doesn't really get very far. I'll put her... She needs movement, so we'll put her on the road. I've got to be a little bit careful with her and the lover, because she will get love points with all the guys. So i got to specifically put her beside Azel and nobody else. Although I think... I think Talta and Azel are a pretty good match. I think they build up... Um, love points pretty quickly like some some pairings are a lot harder than others i think hers is pretty solid all right what, what's next so beowulf was gonna go paragon brave but also i wanted him to be the last brave sword so that we could just keep it on him is there anybody else that would use the brave swords we tried arden we're done with arden lex is done holen man i almost want to try again with him but did I ever give him the Brave Sword? I can't... Man. How long ago was it when I tried Holden? Did I give him the... Mm, I could save state to test. Aaron also... But she has to beat... Yeah. I think there's nobody else... Well, I guess... No, Dew can't use it. Yeah, the only person left that might want the Brave Sword at all is Holden. Let's... Because I would love to get him to level up. I, I kind of feel like I've already did this. But maybe he tried to win with the... There it is. Maybe we tried to beat it with the Silver Sword on him and I never bought the Brave Sword. Also, he would need a heal. So, um... I should have waited until I spent more people to the arena and then done this, but... fine. I'm assuming... Oh, i got to turn his... I still have to turn his animations off. I'm assuming this heals everyone in the castle. This is why he doesn't even need to go to the arena. He's just going to get level ups like mad. Alright, that didn't actually heal him to full. Hmm. I could have done the dance first so that we could do a mend on him, I guess. I just... Oh yeah, Brave Lance. That's the problem, isn't it? How does he win this fight? He needed... He could have won with a dodge, but he did not get a dodge. Oh, that was close. But he needs two dodges. Dang, I don't know if he can do this. I just... I'm, now, now that I can promote people, I want to promotion party everybody. Can he win this? 
I'm not doing the math, which is kind of my bad. I think he needs to be at full health. Dang. Yeah, well that was close, but I don't think he does enough damage. Like, at this point he's going to need four dodges, I think, to win. And four dodges at, say, one in four. No, he needs two dodges and a Luna. That's all he needs. So he should get two dodges, one in 16. Luna is whatever his skill is, I think. Say one in four. But out of four strikes, getting one Luna is pretty average. He's got 94 to hit. So I would say if he can get two dodges, he should have pretty good odds to win. Not like it's happening. I don't know if we're just getting unlucky or if I've done the math totally wrong. But he should go twice, and then if he can dodge twice, he should go four times. That should be a win, I think. If, if he gets a Luna. And no misses. But we're just... I, I keep seeing the Nikita go down to one HP, but not any further. Which I believe is one Luna and one hit. But we're not getting any double dodges. Wow, I feel like... In the course of repairing the Brave Sword like five times, this should have happened by now, right? I'm not crazy, am I? Hmm. Maybe I did the math wrong. I don't know. So, that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe if we give him full HP so he can survive two hits? We could try that. Let's save that for a little bit later. Well, I wanted to do that so we could do Beowulf. Uh, Alright, let's just do the dance now. It would have been nice to dance more than three people, but let's just get that out of the way. I would like to deploy my Cav this round, this first turn if I can. It'd be nice to get Beowulf up there, and uh, I'd like to get Holin promoted as well if I can. So, so now, Aideen... Now, she also needs to give a bow to somebody, but... I think it's her? Yeah, she needs to give her lover a, bo a bow. We can't talk inside. Even if she gave her money over, he could not afford the Paragon Band. Although he could sell... Actually, he, we could probably set it up if we... Uh... Man, this is some micromanagement. If we sold the Killer Bow and he gets the Brave Bow, plus Aideen gives him her money, that might be enough to buy the Paragon Band. Maybe. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see again. I still have my save state to fall back to if this still doesn't work. Uh, mend, Holin... And then, now we try again. We still have to buy the Brave Sword back. I have a feeling the last time I sent Holden in here, I didn't buy him the Brave Sword. And that's probably why he lost. So now, at full HP, he, could sh he should survive two hits, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, he's got it. Okay. With the Brave Sword and full HP, I think he should have had... Oops, sorry, throwing everything around here. I think he had pretty good odds to win on that fight. But, anyway. One miss at 92% and it kind of foiled, would foil it. Oh, okay. Take a deep breath. Put a save down, I guess, after all that messing around so I don't undo it accidentally. And let's see if he can keep going. We have a magic guy and then an axe guy. And then another magic guy. He should be 100% to win here because he's going to do four attacks. Nothing to worry about. Nice. And I think this is the one that levels him up, and he should be okay. One in four to get hit. He dies in two hits. So he could lose with bad luck. But pretty likely to dodge. I think reasonably good odds to win that fight. Alright. This, I think, redeems my messing around. Skill, speed, HP. Broke his sword. That's okay. Um, we can repair it. Now that he's actually winning the arena, he, he can afford it. Um... But yeah, now that we can promote him, I feel like this is all redeemed. Obviously, we can't promote everyone at the beginning of Chapter 4, but the more we get through, the happier I am. It's like, I get an inky little point every time I promote someone. Um, let's go promote him. 
We're, we're keeping wifey really busy. What? Oh, you can be a hero. This is not the same as the sword master. Wait a second. Myrmidons don't turn into heroes. Mercenaries turn into heroes. So what does he get if he turns into a hero? He turns direction. Doesn't get a horse. A little bit more armor, maybe. Two skill, five strength, two speed, three magic, two defense, three. Not the best level up or promotion, but five strength is good. Like, five strength definitely better than what my paladin's got. He's a hero now. It's essentially a sword master, but he doesn't get adept. I would not say that was a great promotion for him. Same six movements. Yeah, I, I, I'm I pretty sure Ira got adept on promotion. Plus A rank swords. And also capped out her strength. Uh, I would say Holin's promotion was worse. Unless there's some secret benefit of hero that I don't know about. I would say that was inferior. Oh well. Such is his lot. Maybe this hero has better, like, stat caps or something. Like, his skill is 20... Oh, well, let's just see if he can finish off the arena. Brave it up. I think he should win this one, especially with his extra strength. That's a lot of extra damage over the course of the battle. So, 12 damage per hit instead of uh, 7. You know, that's pretty good. So, uh, no, he's going to lose. He needed like a Luna there. Or a dodge here. Maybe, maybe a dodge. No dodge. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> See, the thing is, Luna, if I understand correctly, ignores defense, obviously, and also provides. So if he could get some Luna activations on here, he could win. But he still needs to dodge once and get a Luna or two. And he's not dodging his 57s. That's a dodge. No Luna again. Yeah, with four hits, I think he just needs one Luna after a dodge. This should be... Oh, he got two dodges, so that does it as well. Alright, I feel like he just got really bad luck getting nuked every single round for a while there at 57%. Anyway, good. Now we're done. And the more of these we get done in the first turn, the less we'll have to come back for later on, right? So that's probably worth it. Ah, uh, no, 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 we're not buying. Well, someone needs that bolt sword. Hmm. Uh, did I ever decide who gets the bolt sword? She's got three magic. She's got zero magic, so I guess, uh... Technically, Holin's better with magic, ranged magic. I never really decided. I know we've talked about it, or I've talked about it a little bit, but, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Rayquisis already has an Earth Sword. I think I decided Beowulf might be the best to get it, honestly. And I think he had it, and then I sold it, so it's kind of silly, but... No, no, Lex had it. Lex got it from the boss couple chapters back. Yeah, because Beowulf will never have a ranged sword other than the magic swords. And he's on a mount so he can theoretically bounce around. I mean, I was probably going to give him the brave sword. <laughs> Maybe if he gets A rank at promotion... I just, I think as much as the, the Sword Master and Hero, they certainly could use more range. And they only can move six squares, but no cantle. I just, I think we get more value out of someone who's got essentially nine movement and can canto around. They just, he gets more turns to attack. Uh, even though a, a foot locked lower range movement, they might need that extra reach more often. But it's also more like... When they attack, they generally kill something due to all their sword skills, so they don't need... Well, they also get the a rank swords, the Silver Blades, the Steel, steel Blades, and stuff like that. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, my throat again. I feel like something coming down with a bug, but... Anyway, um... No matter what I do... We already sold it. We're gonna move the Brave Sword over for now.
So do we have enough money? No, we're gonna have to sell. So we need 2,600 gold. We have to sell both swords to afford everything here. But I think the math will check out. I'm not sure who I should give the... I don't know... It, okay, one thing I think I've noticed with the Wing Slayer, as much as it will be an auto crit on flyers, if flyers tend to have lances, then you still have a weak weapon triangle against them, which is not optimal by any means. All right, Beowulf, let's see how you do. Maybe we can get him promoted as well with the party. All the, all the calves get promoted today. Everyone gets promoted today. It takes forever. And we're already getting close to the end of another episode. Today's episode is just going to go till we're done in the arena, I think. Because this will be two episodes in a row of uh, just arena and no actual game. No progress. So the problem I'm noticing with Beowulf is he's not going first. He needs uh, some speed or something here. Come on, Beowulf. Yeah, six, 11 speed. Not much. His stats aren't really that impressive. He's another... At the moment, he's like Alec, essentially. Maybe slightly better than Alec. So he could lose any second just via Adepture or something. Yeah, no doubles. Or no, well, no quadruples is what I mean. Like, if Pursuit is not activating, then he's not getting his quad attacks. I wonder if he's going to lose here, actually. This could be tough. Alec won, somehow. I don't know how many tries it took. Oh, right. Because uh, Nikita is slowed down by the Brave Lance, we've got a fairly easy win. All right, good. Pursuit plus low weight weapons. So good. All right. HP and luck. Not really what we needed, but okay. Mage Knight. If he can beat this, we should be able to beat the Axe Knight after. And he's got the speed advantage. Takes one hit. Four hits. All right. If he can beat the Axe Knight, he can promote. And strength is impressive on a uh, Brave Knight Pursuit user. Alright, he should win this, I feel like it. 1 in 3 to get hit, 1 in 9 to die. No, no, yes. That would have killed him if he hit. 1, 2... He did not get his... We really don't get Pursuit on this guy? What? Come on, you just gotta win this fight and then you can... Then you can promote, and you'll be fine. I don't even care if you win the final round, but... Are we, like, tied for speed? Hmm. I... Hmm. Now I'm concerned, after all this time. Alright. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's gonna need some dodges... Come on. Come on, Beowulf. Surely you've got a 1 in 100. There it is! <laughs> I didn't do the math. I apologize. Really good level up, though. <laughs> I can't do the math every single time. We got we got things to do, places to go, people to promote. All right. <laughs> we cheesed it. You're ready for Forest Knight. Ooh, Forest Knight. We saw... There's a Forest Knight in the arena. Does this, does this mean he gets Adept? Is that a, a, a Forest thing? I have heard that this is a good upgrade, so let's see his stats. I'm really excited here. Come on, Beowulf. Very shiny horse. I like that. Nine skill? What? One strength, six speed, two defense. Strength was nothing, but nine skill? What? So it puts him at A swords, and he does get adept. So now he's got... Pursuit, Adept, and Adept doesn't work with the Brave Sword, but if I give him a Silver Sword or something, that would be uh, a combo. He got a ton of skill, a good amount of speed, and then a bit of strength and defense. I would say better than Alec or Noish. Mm. Probably not quite on Lex's level, though. Maybe second best uh, promoted Cav? Not counting, you know, Sigurd and Quan, but second best starting Cav. All right, let's see if we can finish the, the arena. I think he should be good here. He's got so much skill. He should have like 100% to hit. Yeah. It depends on Pavices, of course. He can only take one hit. He should be fine now. 
yeah. Good luck on his dodges, and... Like, this is what tends to happen, is it just depends on the RNG, right? A lot of times it's like a 50-50 chance, statistically, but then you just fail 20 times in a row due to ind statistical independence. Alright, so that's done. Um, I'm going to sell the Paragon Band for sure, and I might keep the Brave Sword on him. He could use a Silver Sword if, if I want to move it over. Could buy the Wing Slayer back. I think I decided I was going to give him the Bolt Sword. It's pretty expensive, but... That's his only range, too. Yeah, it's fine. I decided. Executive Ankylo decision. Uh, what else are we going to do? It would have been pretty good on um, Aaron, no doubt. But I don't know if Aaron's going to get promoted here. I'm not sure if I'm going to try again. She's still got the Brave Lance, but she was not super successful on the final mage round. I think it's just luck, actually. I think if we try a couple times, she'll probably get it. Just like Beowulf got it. But he got, he got it first try. Uh, what else are we doing with Beowulf? Is that it? Brave Sword. He should have a backup sword that's not so expensive, though. Actually, Brave Sword's not that expensive. Oh, he could use the blades now. Let me just think for just a second here. So much thinking. Um... Or I could switch around, like, he could use Holin's Silver Sword, and we could give the Steel Blade to Holin. I mean, or the Silver Blade. Silver Blade is a bit better. Let's just look at the stats. So 25 Strength, 25, 30, 27, versus 21, 27, 20. So she's got better stats all around on the important stats. She's way faster, way more skillful, and way stronger. So he's the one that kind of needs the extra damage the most, and the Silver Sword is the weakest of the a rank swords in terms of damage. So I think I give the Silver Blade to Holin to help cover up for his slightly weaker strength. I think Ira already does, like, way more damage than necessary. So she can just use the Silver Blade. It'll still be... Or, sorry, she can just use the Steel Blade. It'll still be very, very strong. Like, she's, she's going from 45 damage to 41. With Astra at 35%, she's still going to just crush. She does not need the best weapon, although it's fun. Uh, we can spread around the better weapons to other people. And then the Silver Sword can move over to um, Beowulf, I guess. And then he can hold on to the Brave Sword and the Silver Sword. And if I want to move the Brave Sword around, he'll still have a pretty good backup weapon. Plus, there's not very many people that have a rank swords, so yeah, that's fair. Also, she needs some money now, right? It's kind of a joke. Uh, I'm going to sell her Renewal Band as well. Now that she gave all of her money to her boyfriend, um, she can just sell that. Because I don't know if, I don't know who I want to give it to, but she doesn't, she doesn't seem like the right person. Maybe one of the healers would be a better option, honestly, because they don't generally heal themselves easily. And then uh, switcheroo here. Silver Blade. This is not cheap to move around. Okay. The thing is, I don't think Holin's going to get a whole lot of value. Like, one of the things you have to remember now is Holin needs to m get loving with Bridget in this chapter started. So he might not get a lot of combat, and neither might Bridget, because they're kind of both land units that need to stay together. So it's probably better to move the better weapons onto the people who are already done their love machines. And I think, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did notice that Beowulf and Raquisis are done theirs as well. So, um, they can now split up and trade money and stuff. Which, she's got a lot of money. I could have done that, I suppose. I didn't need to, but... If Beowulf had needed money, we could have transferred it over from Raquisis. Eh, good to know. Gotta, gotta try to remember the love connections. Also, good for that bonus crit and all that kind of stuff. You know, you know, well, you know. Okay, that's all. We do have a thief sword lying around as well. Definitely could give that to somebody. But that's it for Beowulf. He's got... I'd say that's a pretty good selection of swords. He's our sword master. Before the end of the of uh, the Generation 1, I will make sure, as best I can, that we're hand-me-downing weapons that the kids can use. Like, I don't know if Beowulf's kids will be able to use A-rank weapons. It might only be B-rank, in which case we'll trade the silver sword to one of the, the sword masters, basically. But that will be at the very end. The very end of Gen 1. Okay.
Wow, we're probably already an hour over already if I combine these together. So we've got archers. Um, there's Dew. I guess I should try Dew in the arena. He's got lots of money. Got a wind sword, which is definitely better than the iron sword for, for damage. I don't... I just can't see him really making it very far. I don't know if it's worth buying the Paragon Band to try to get him some uh, some levels. Let's put a save down. If, again, this is just sort of a, a test more than, in my mind, it's a test. I will buy the Paragon Band and see how many rounds he survived. Oh, right. I forgot about this. So, <laughs> here's some, uh, yeah, someone's yelling at me. Because Dew has the bargain skill, which is something I haven't even thought of really until now, he can always buy and sell the Paragon Band with no loss. So any rings that are in the shop he could buy and equip for the arena. Um, I don't really have any sitting around that are valuable to help him you know, win. But yeah, actually, he should always arena with the Paragon Band. That would actually be the answer to the question. Oh well. There was a member's card that provided the bargain skill, but I missed it, so I just haven't really thought about that kind of stuff much. Alright, we'll see how he does. I still would be surprised if he makes it very far, but... Gets killed in two hits. He got hit at one, one in three twice. We'll give him a couple tries here. But now he has to dodge 33% twice. He can't even hit himself with 44%. Wow. Dude can't even do one round of the arena. Look at this. Oh, almost. He needs three hits and to dodge enough times to get three hits. We're just burning money here with the wind sword. There's no value going to the iron sword though, right? So. Wow, poor dude. I, I guess, you know, he's a thief. He's not really meant to be fighting. I would have liked to see what he can do if you ever get him promoted. I mean, sometimes thieves turn into like assassins or something when they promote and then they become pretty awesome. I kind of get the feeling that our do is never going to get that. He's the lowest level character right now. He did win eventually. It, it took, I don't know, I wasn't counting, but that took a few tries. Let's see if he can do this. Oh man, there's no way. Five damage. I think the only way he could win, like if you could get him a miracle skill, if there's a miracle ring out there or something, then he'd be immune to damage, but... Yeah, that's... Sorry, do. Oh, before we do that, because it's sort of a waste of money, technically. So his arena-ing ended up losing him gold. <laughs> oh, well. He doesn't lose money on the Paragon Band. He just used up durability on his Magic Sword. It's fine. I'm not really worried about it. I just kind of thought it would be interesting to give it a shot. Okay, what's next? Uh, we're almost done. We could give Lewin some money so he could buy the Paragon Band and then finish the arena, theoretically. I'd like to also get him from- Oh, I was going to do that to Azel. That's what I was going to do. It's a lot of money. But Dew has got- I did manage to give over Iris money to Dew, so Dew is pretty rich. If he gives it to Azel, Azel's at 17k? That drops him down. He'll give him 33,000. So he'll have six. He'll have 13,000 left. If I gave 13,000 here, that would be enough. So we actually have enough gold. It takes two turns. But we could get both of the mages to Paragon Ring level. Wow, we're just we're going all out on Paragon this time around. Sure. Don't mess up the target. This would have been easier if I hadn't wasted all my money on Alec, but maybe if I hadn't given Alec the gold, he wouldn't have become a paladin. So maybe it's fine anyway, right? Hey, hey! Maybe Duke can win the arena now. He got to level up from giving gold. <laughs> all right, Alec, Azel, Azel, uh, Azel. He probably wants to buy the wind tome as well. I don't know if he'll need it. I think I'd rather... See, who do I want to... Actually, he's the one I want this to have anyway. Uh, no one else can use it. Except for, like, one of my, um... Like, Raquasis or... Raquasis or... 
Claude could use it, but they don't really need it. I think I think this is most useful to throw on Azul, so. Alright, so he has technically more damage with Elfire, but way more speed and dodge with Wind, so we'll be using Wind most of the time. Although, there's a weapon triangle here. Hmm. I never remember how it works. Uh up. So thunder beats fire, fire beats wind. Alright, I think. <laughs> I I'm just gonna put a save down because I don't even know for sure. If fire beats wind, then L fire might be the right way to go. But if it's the other way around, this is terrible. It looks like with the accuracy this is probably the right direction. Again, spell animations are really slow, so we'll speed through a lot. Plus we're super long episodes like you know me. Oh, I should have switched weapons. Dang it. Okay, we got him, but that was an accident. I should have switched over to wind. What a good level up. 1 HP. Um, because I want to make sure he's doubling, and the damage, 6 more damage for basically losing out on pursuit is not going to be worth it. Also, he gets more um, accuracy. Now... Alright, we did get him. I wasn't sure if he'd do quite enough damage, but we got it. Skill and magic, good enough. As long as he gets magic ups every now and then, I'm happy. L Thunder. Oh, I should have checked. Uh, is Wind the right one against Thunder? Yeah, it must be. I wasn't even thinking, but yeah, cool. Uh, Alright, speed. Speed's good. Speed's a stat that we like. So if he can win against the Axe guy, like so many people, he should get a promotion. This is definitely what I'm trying to get him to. He's going to need some dodges though, I think. And that's going to be tricky. Two hits, he's dead. Okay, come on, Azul. Two hits. Now you need two more dodges. Dang. Now he's going to need four dodges. Of course he gets four dodges as soon as I uh, fast forward it. I have a feeling that win was super, super lucky and we just got it early on. That was probably like a 1 in 20 or worse. And uh, we got it first try. Or, well, you know what I mean. First try was the the more likely to win and we lost it. Anyway, ra uh, uh, statistics and random numbers are hard. So, Azul, this, this, is what I was, this is one of the ones I was really excited for. Mage Knight. I don't believe it's going to be as overpowered as Master Knight from Raquisis, but... Anytime you go from a land unit to a mounted unit is a huge upgrade. And, if I understand, it is. Azul gets a horse. Worth it. And, like, armor. He doesn't even look like a mage anymore. One skill, five strength, one speed, three magic, four defense, two resistance. Not terrible. Okay stat ups, but more importantly, a horse. Now he can use swords. Hmm. Mage Knight, hey? I didn't even think about swords. But he's got A rank in fire, B rank in... So now he can use a fire spell we don't have. He can use L Wind, L Thunder, and a Brave Sword. He can just win with a Brave Sword. But he's not very strong, so... We're just gonna leave him with magic. And I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna trade tomes, like... Um, we don't actually have an L Thunder anywhere... Telcha has a normal Thunder and a Thoron. He can't use Thorons. And although technically... Lewin could give his Elwind to Azul. And Elwind would probably be his best spell he could use. Unless we can get a spare Elwind. Or perhaps if Lewin gets whatever the A rank Wind spell is. Then I might consider passing his Elwind down. But for now, I think we just leave him with what he's got. See if he can win the arena. Would have been nice if he could use like a C rank in staves or something. But uh, what's the final battle? He's at the... It's fire. So whatever beats fire. I think we said it was not wind but thunder maybe. Because the guy uses Bolo Baloney. And I think it's, that's, the, that's the A rank fire. Looks like I probably picked the right one. Assuming we win. I don't know. We do pretty good damage. But remember he can Pavice. We have to hit him... Three times, oof. 22 damage. Unfortunately, he two rounds us and we, like, need a lot of hits. Now, we do have Pursuit. Okay, we actually 
might win this. I forgot about Pursuit. Uh, we need either a dodge or Nopa Vice. Nopa Vice, come on. One. Two, all right. Yeah, he should have had good odds then, right? It just depends on Pavices, like usual. That last fight is really, really, really up in the air on who's going to win. <laughs> of course, Azul gets like, Azul level up. Classic. All right. Honestly, I was impressed. That was better than I expected him to do. So, good use of the Paragon Band. Got him promoted. We're going to repair a couple spells, I think. They're cheap. He's not even really using high-level magic, so all this stuff is, like, cheap, cheap. Alright. Good. Azul. Uh, I guess I could buy him a sword. <laughs> I mean, it's a backup. He's not going to be very good with... You know, you know, he could have used a magic sword. But that would be dumb. He's got magic. Why would you give him a magic sword? He can just cast magic. Mm. Is there any sword I would buy him? He's a steel sword is the B rank. Give him a thief sword. Wing Slayer. Kind of gives him options, but he already does good against magic, or good against armor via magic, and pretty good against flyers anyway. I guess I'll just give him the Steel Sword. I don't think anyone else needs it, so... Eh, sure. I doubt I'll ever use it, but maybe somebody will be super resistant to magic. Like, res If we find someone with huge resistance, then he has an option, but I doubt that's a very important thing to do. I don't really know... Oh, right. So, I was just saying he can stay near Talta because similar movement ranges as mages. Well, so much for that. Still, uh, he'll be able to canto back to her after he does stuff. Oh, well. They've got to spend some turns together. She's not going to get promoted till, if anything, next chapter because she's going to need another full round of arena. I don't know if she gets a horse. If she gets a horse, though, that'd be pretty sweet. Also, if they ever become in love, we can transfer money over and then she can buy the Paragon Ring. Didn't happen yet, but maybe maybe next chapter. Alright, what else are we doing? Lewin? Am I going to bother giving him the Paragon? Hmm. Got so much stuff going on. So much stuff. Lex needs heals. Aaron needs heals and another shot at the arena to get her for promotion. This episode goes on forever. Ira can move out. She's already got her lover. She's got the sword I want. Let's just get her out of here so I don't have to think about it. Okay. Holin could move out. He needs to start pairing up with... Let me check my list. Bridget. So yeah, he can move out now. Ah, uh, this is less good. I shouldn't have put Titu there. I don't know who he actually gains love with. I gotta be careful about these pairs so that they don't overlap. Yeah, I gotta keep I gotta keep them separated. This might have been a big waste of love points. We'll we'll figure it out later. Okay, Arden doesn't count. Midir, you're gonna wait till you get a brave bow, which is gonna happen in a couple turns, I guess. Aaron needs healing. Raquisis could do some of that. I could send her to the arena as well, but... Yeah, let's send her to the arena. I don't really care if she finishes it. I want to give her a quick chai, but again, this is low priority. If she can get a couple levels... I don't even want to buy her uh, Paragon. I should have bought a Paragon band, to be honest. She's got so much money, right? I was trying... My original idea was to not waste money on overflow, so make sure you buy the, par the, the Paragon. Alright. 1 HP. I'm just going to try to speed through. She might lose this one. I don't know how she did it, but she won. 1 Strength. Next. It's just because Master Knight is overpowered. They just... The game knows Master Knight should win everything. Oh, she's got Adept now, right? Or something like that? Or Did she get Pursuit when she promoted? She got some overpowered skill. Her level ups have been totally trash, though. Oh, yeah. So she got Pursuit when she leveled up. I forgot about that. I think I forgot to put Charm. When If you look at the uh, sides show for her, I think I forgot to add that to her promoted uh, skill let list. But she's just got everything. Terrible growths, which is why doing all this arenaing doesn't really matter much. 
But um, it's kind of fun. Will she win this? I don't know. She could have won it. She'll, she'll need a couple dodges. Oh, the Pavices! You see all those Pavices? Man, she should have had that win. Robbed. Come on. She's gonna need pretty good luck to win, but she already should have won once. It was just Pavice garbage that stopped it. Yeah. You know what would probably work better? If I really want this on her? If I gave her the... I already moved it around, but I could have given her the brave weapon. Idea. Crits? It should be auto crits, if she, and she's got 100%. Oh, well, she doesn't have 100 anymore. Yeah, this is two hits. So she'll win this one without too much trouble. Pavice. She should have won, but she already got Pavice. There you go. Yeah, because of Pursuit, uh, she if she can dodge once, she gets three hits. She just needed two hits and she wins. Yeah, actually, that was a smarter way to do it. Alright. I was saying I should remember that I've got Armor Slayers, right? And uh, I normally don't even think about it, but it worked that time. Alright, let's fix some stuff for her. She doesn't really need her money that much, so we will fix it all up. Is she supposed to be buying something? I could give her the return band. Before I deploy her, I just want to make sure I got... I think I'm going to put Restore on Claude. He's going to need some money. He's He's got his heal staff and his Fortify. I don't really have enough money for it right now. So it kind of comes down to Aideen or Rakvasis. Aideen is kind of out of money because I gave it all to Medir. Uh, or no, she doesn't have much money. Okay. Do... Well, he's going to give his money to Lewin. <laughs> We don't have enough money for all the staves we want right now, let's be fair. And we've got a lot of mages right now, so having silence and restore is kind of important. I didn't even plan for the magic phase. Um, Alright, Rakwis is going to buy something. I think we need someone to have restore staff to wake up people to get put to sleep. Sleep is nice. Or silence. We could pick up silence. Oh, man, that's so expensive. How else are we going to handle these guys with uh, long range Blizzard though? I mean, we can take a couple hits from Blizzard, but I th it's probably worth it. This might be the most magical map we've got, so... Just do it. I think that will be worth it. That's a lot of money, but she doesn't need her money that badly. Technically, she can steal Beowulfs if she needs more. And... Now she can heal, she can do damage, she can send people back to base, she can cure sleep or whatever other status effects there are, and she can silence two mages. Her her magic stat, actually, that's kind of a mistake, right? That was dumb. I didn't look at her magic. You have to have more magic than their resistance for it to work. Ah. Uh, 14 resistance is a no. It's these guys that are going to be real tricky. No, no, not these guys. These guys. 11 resistance, 10 resistance. Ah, oh, she can't, she can't. Where's my rewind button? I just wasted what will essentially be 10,000 gold. I, it was a good idea. I just didn't check the math, and you should always check the math. So she can't actually get any value out of the silent staff. I should not have bought it. Sorry. Goodbye, 10,000 gold. Is there anything else I want to buy with her? Probably not at this point. Dang it. Alright, let's go. Good enough. Get out of here. Requisites, you can heal people. Uh, but I'm not going to be keeping you in. I want to get you onto the field. Because I probably want her able to, to wake people up when they get put to sleep. Uh, she's already got Beowulf as a lover. So her positioning doesn't matter. That's great. Beowulf is over here somewhere anyway. Whew. All right. We're almost done the setup. <laughs> We're going to probably do one turn more, though. Because we have to... We might even do two more turns. Because we have to get a bow. Use it for the archers. 
We could try to finish the arena as is. Alright, I'm going to just try. I don't know if they can do it without the Brave Bow, but... If you can, then we'll do it now. If not, then we'll buy a Brave Bow. And I'm going to do a lot of fast forwarding because this has been way too long. Alright, he does have Pursuit and Adept. So, he's got... I've... He got some speed there, or defense, or something. His 56% are failing him a lot. Alright, he got it eventually, but he had a huge string of misses there. Should win this one. Uh, he's not getting very good level ups, though. Should win this one. He's just not very accurate. Wow. Alright, he got it eventually. I'm kind of surprised at how low his accuracy is. He doesn't have very much skill. You know, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking I might want to move the killer bow onto him. Well, we'll see what his promotion stats look like. But his accuracy is surprisingly poor. Like, bows are only 70%, I guess. And the killer bow is the odd one out with 100%. Mind you, Medir has even worse skill. Yeah, it's just a downside of being an archer, I guess. Anyway, good. He got far enough that I'm not going to bother reloading at this point. Sorry, speeding through everything. It's because it's been too long of an episode. Two skill, five strength, two speed, two defense. That's pretty good. Lots of strength and at least some more speed and skill. Uh, he already had the same skills, so he, he didn't gain any new skills. He starts with all these. I think Sniper does pick up Adept or something, though. I mean, it's good. I think Bridget's still way better. 23, 16, 21. Oops. 23, 16, 21. Yeah, Bridget's same level, same strength, not counting the Yuffal. But she's got a fair bit more skill and speed, and they have basically the same defense. So I got to give that win to to Bridget there. All he's really got is... No, no, he's he's got way less skill than her. So that's where the accuracy difference comes from. She can use a steel or silver bow and be accurate. He cannot. Even not counting the Yuffal. Alright, interesting. So do you think he can finish the arena without a brave bow or a killer bow? I'm... The next fight, I think, is the brave bow, isn't it? I wonder if he can do it. I'm going to save it first, because I have a feeling he might need the Killer Bow or a Brave Bow to win this one. Yeah, he's going to take two hits. Well, he's relatively defensive. 41%. Of course, they hit twice in a row at 40. We need, like, an Adept Brock or something. Oh, no, we don't. Math. Too much math. I didn't, I didn't realize we foreshot him. All right, bad level up. And then finally... Old Aegis, Pavice, whatever you call it. It's Pavice. Yep. Wow. So he gets two shots. I can't. By doing the save state, I get the same result. This is dumb. You can't save scum like that. 56%. He might win eventually because he gets... Yeah. He gets a lot of extra shots from Pursuit and Adept. That, that was easier than some people for spam, so cool. And I did explain it, you know, the reason we're doing more... Like, I don't want to give up when I buy the Paragon Ring, because I feel like it's a waste of the Paragon Ring, right? Like, if you don't finish the arena, then you didn't get full value. <laughs> uh, alright, um... He didn't get very good level ups lately, but he's okay. We got a lot of Pegasus Knights on this bat map, so probably good to keep him around. Now, Medir, you're going to need some gold from somebody, which I think we we said... Oh, that's right. I was going to have Medir sell his killer bow and use the brave bow. Because he's going to get it from Aideen. He, he's going to get it. He's, he's going to get her money, plus sell the killer bow, which means I should have... Okay, this was kind of silly. Um, what I was planning on doing was selling this anyway... So I should just let, uh... Is this enough money? Hold on, let's... Before I do this, let's do the math. This might not be enough. Uh... 31... 
800. This is not enough. 30, he's 500 short. 31, 800. 38, 800. 39, 700. Is he like 300 gold short? Wait, how much can we sell the iron bow for? I think we can do it if we sell both. Put a save down. Math. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to give... It's kind of his original bow anyway. We're going to give it back to Jamka. And if I understand, there's really no reason to have the silver bow if you've got a killer bow. Well, nah, it's no reason. I don't know who's going to use the silver bow because no one really wants it. Killer bow's way better. Brave bow's way better, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And then the youthful's better, so... He's just going to hold on to it, I guess. He just have all the bows. I'll sell the steel bow, and then that'll be like a backup for, uh, for Medir. All right. One more completed. We're, we're getting through it. Uh, Jemka doesn't get a girlfriend. So I just want to keep him away from the girls. <laughs> Sorry, no flirting allowed. Um, oh boy, what's next? Uh, I think that's the end of our turn. And then I need to do, like, a couple more arenas next turn. <laughs> it's another hour plus however long we had before my little mini break. There's the signal to assault Selene as planned. I trust you're all ready. Move in. Teach the traitorous scum the terror of a wind mage's wrath. Yeah, I wish I had someone with, uh, silencing. At least we have restore ready. There's, like, one guy with sleep. So I've got some of the restore staff. Pretty uh, dire enemy phase music. So I will try to finish the arena in this episode. It's going to go a little longer. But um, I really do want to get to some progression soon. We've spent like two or three hours doing castle maintenance. Wow. Wow. Slow start, slow start. I could have done it off camera, I guess, but but then you guys wouldn't know all the fun I went through there. Oh, meanwhile, in Zaxxon. Nah, the throw of army is attacking. Looks like Mayo, Mayo finally made his move. <laughs> Why, this little drama is finally getting interesting, wouldn't you say, Pamela? Totally different than the one in the other castle that looks exactly the same. Indeed, sir. However, as I recall, we didn't account for Sigurd's fugitives being here. Their strength poses a real risk to the plan. If Mayo is, at least succeeds in weakening them, perhaps Celeste's fall will go, still go smoothly. Even if he fails, I still have my private deal with Granvale in my favor. Their Lord Andre should arrive shortly with a battalion of reinforcements. Hehe, <laughs> my victory is certain, Pamela! I'll be sitting on the Celestian throne by the end of the week! Uh, without a doubt, sir. I wonder if the number twos for both castles are the same person, or twins, or something. Alright, so... <laughs> There's so much to do! Uh, we've got through most of our characters. I need to get this bow. I, I would have liked to have done it last turn, but I didn't. If we move Medir out, give the bow, dance them back in, it still can't... It's still gonna take an extra turn. Wow, wow. Uh... Do his job this turn is to give money, give gold. Thank you. I wish you could do talks inside the castle. It would make my life a lot easier. So let's get this one done next. If we can get Lewin promoted, that furthers my promotion party plan. All right. And I'm... He, he can buy, you know, I could have left a fire and a thunder tome around for him because of all the, there's so many ma mage enemies in here. And like the boss has a fire tome that he's weak against. So I, I really should have considered um, not deploying um, Azul. That was a mistake. Just because of the way the arena works. Oh, well. Uh, good level up though. Magic, defense, and HP. So far, he's just blasting through it. Nothing to worry about. This one might be tough. I'm just going to put a save down for my 
sensitivities. Because of his braves and adepts, or sort of, you know what I mean. Magic, skill, luck, HP, good level up. Because of his pursuit and his adept, he does get a lot of extra attacks based on luck. Uh, wind beats thunder, so this time we're good. The hardest fight will be the last fight for him. Skill, strength, HP. Also, that was enough. So even if he doesn't beat the last one, it's fine. I'm not going to stress out about it. We got him far enough to get the main thing. And a sage, so maybe no horse. That's unfortunate. It was really nice to get, uh, to Azul to get on a horse. Yeah, it doesn't look like he gets a horse. So what do sages get in this game? Five skill, five speed, eight magic, five resistance. Okay, I'll take it. Also, plus one and light magic. And staves. Oh, snap. That's pretty good. Elwind is still his best magical weapon, other than weapon triangle. But now he can use staves. Oh, he can use B-rank staves. I could give him the sleep staff if I can afford it. And he has really high magic, so it would work. Oh. All right. Well, we got a plan. I don't know if he can win this last fight, though, but we'll try. Oh, wait. This is not the last fight. Second last. I feel like he's won this one automatically because 9%, right? One skill. He's so fast. Yeah. I bet you even with weapon triangle disadvantage or magic triangle, if you want to call it that, he should be okay. What are we looking at here? 45 to 80... He takes, he takes, oh yeah, he's got it. There's nothing to worry about. He didn't even get hit. He, uh, I did the math real quick there, but the enemy was doing 15 damage. It would have to hit him four times to kill him because he has good resistance. And they did not have the, the odds in their favor. All right, good. Lewin, pretty awesome. I like it. You can sell your Paragon Band. I mean, the Pursuit Band makes him pretty good. Like, if I hadn't given him that, he wouldn't be as powerful. But I feel like he's definitely a good wearer of the Pursuit Band. Oops, I was gonna, well... Someone should buy Recoverer. I mean, he's not a primary healer. He, he could heal, but that's not really what I would wa want to use him for. But uh, We're going to buy Silence. Because he'll be a pretty good Silence user, I think. Because he's got... Like, I have some healers that aren't all that high in magic. He is much better in magic. I could pick him up the Recoverer for now. Full heal. Again, you kind of want to give this to someone who has low magic. It's probably a Raquis's heal. Oh, well, I already left her. She already left. Is there anyone else I'd buy it for? Like, Aideen has men, so that's basically a full heal. Also, no money. Claude has an AoE heal and a lower heal. Eh, I'll just give it... Oops. I'll, I'll actually just give it to, uh, to Lewin for now. I don't think his children would inherit it. So in the end, we probably want to sell it to somebody else. But for now, this is okay. At least now he has a healing option in addition to his offensive option and his status option. So that's, that gives him pretty good variety. Yeah. He's primarily wind magic, of course. But the ability to silence might help. The ability to heal could be good. And we might as well heal up or repair up. And if he gets rich, we can get more silences. Like, using this is... Like, be very careful, because that's super, super expensive. I, I don't want to use that unless it's very important. Alright, Lewin doesn't have a girlfriend yet, but he has a way to get at this map very easily. So I don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, what's left? <laughs> um, trade the bow. Medir needs to do the arena. Needs to get money. That's like double the work to do. Um... Aaron, I still think we want to give her another chance in the arena. So I'll probably have someone heal her. Should I just do that right now? Like, Claude, we need to start pairing up with uh, Sylvia. But yeah, we're not going to really do that until we're done all this step. This should put her pretty much to full. Oh man, his animations. Well, I never remember. Alright, I want to save before I do this, but she might be able to do it. I don't know. I think she's got the chance to win, but 
it just depends on some luck here with uh Pavice. Man, so many Pavices. All right, yeah. In fact, I think she had good odds to win, but she did ha she did need a couple dodges to have a guarantee there. Wow, Aaron. You let down you're letting down the audience. All right. Good enough. So she's going to keep the weapons and rings she's got. Now we can promote her as well, which is fine. Falcon Knight. Falcon Punch Knight. You know, unfortunately, in three houses, um, mounted units can't punch, so we'll never have a Falcon Punch. Although, I guess you could consider a Falcon Knight that flies over, dismounts, and then punches as kind of like a Falcon Punch. Someone should make a meme for that. All right, three skill, three speed, seven magic, one defense, five res. Where is the strength? Wow. All right. Well, she got some good stat ups except strength. Um, and magic, I don't know. I guess she's kind of designed to be a magic sword kind of girl. <laughs> but um, I don't have a spare one and I don't want to trade around anymore. So she'll, do, she'll be fine. Her strength is definitely fishy. I'm really glad I gave her the power ring. And this is still a good combo. I guess she'd be slightly better with the sword because it's lighter. Like, the, the the brave sword is just better than the brave lance. Nine less weight. But it's fine. I also kind of like the idea of, of Pegasus using... Uh... I like the idea of Pegasus or Falcon Knights using lances anyway. It's, it's nice for me. Okay, we're almost through. There's only a couple left. Uh, let's see. So how do we do this efficiently? We could give money... But he needs the Brave Boat anyway. So I think I have to send him out. And then... Let's move him a l little bit away just so we've got space here. Let's have Aideen depart. Talk. Very important. Midir, please accept this bow. Uh, isn't that a Brave Bow? Are you sure you want to give away something so rare? She's got, like, all the bows. She's got the legendary bow for her sister and the brave bow for her lover. I am. I brought it for you, after all. Celeste's Pegasus Knights are a formidable foe. With a bow of this caliber, I'm sure I know you'll be better prepared. Oh, my lady, I still can't believe that this isn't a dream. I can't believe we're actually married. I've dreamed of this for so long. <laughs> I've dreamed of it, too. Oh. Hearts. Heart emoji. But I think... By now, you can just call me Aideen. I'll always look out for you, my dear. I, my dear. So lovey-dovey. I'll always pray for your safety. Great. So they have a Brave Bow. Anyway, Brave Bow, eh, it's still more accurate than a Silver Bow. So the, uh, the Iron Steel, Silver were 70. So this is still, I mean, it's better, double attacks. But I feel like this is a good trade-off. Gem, wherever Jemka is... Whatever, yeah. He gets the most accurate bow, but no double attack. And then Medir will get the second most accurate bow, but double attacks. I just hope he can survive the arena. Alright. Next turn, give money, move in, <laughs> dance, and then clear the arena. Is that really what this is going to take? Wow. We're going to do one more turn, guys. Ah, we're going to not deploy till later. Alright, can anyone go kill this guy real quick? No. It's going to take an extra turn to kill that dude. Poor, poor town. Alright, Beowulf has got a sword. He seems like a good matchup for a uh, axe guy. Put him here. I need to be a little bit... I haven't really looked at the enemy deployment too much yet, but for now, we're just going to move up. As far as we can, so we have the most options next turn, as long as we're safe. And now that we've got everyone promoted, should be a piece of cake. Oh yeah, requests. Nobody really needs healing except Lex. So if we deploy Lex... Does that mean he didn't finish the arena? Oh, we could have sent him back to the arena. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I would say Lex is already such a high level. He's like the least important arena clearer right now. 
Man, Requisites with the Kanto heals and the charm. Oh man, so good. So good. Yeah, so he uh, he could go back to the arena at some point, but he's going to hit his level cap pretty quick. Bridget. Oh, right, right, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bridget. I got to I gotta get this right. Bridget plus Holen. Let's make sure they're the only two people touching. They can hold hands. This is fine. Just got to be careful with the next group. And then it's going to be Telta and Azel. And I have to keep her... Lex does not have a girlfriend, so I want to make sure he st she stays away. But you can put two guys next to each other, so that doesn't really matter for those guys. It's the girls you got to watch out for. Always. It's always the girls. Ira's already got her love set up, so it doesn't matter. I don't know actually how... I don't know if she can be jealous of another girl who's... It, it's possible. I'm not 100% sure how that works. And like I said, Jamka can stand next to guys, because guys are cool. Guys are chill. It's only the girls that get super jelly. Alright, then... I could move Sylvia out and dance. Oh, there's an important thing to do with Sylvia that I almost forgot about. She's not going to have the money to Paragon. It doesn't really matter. Actually, the Paragon band would be kind of fun for her because she'd get double dance experience. But she's the leg winner. I did decide that. So spend all of her money on that. I could give her a Thief Sword. She just doesn't attack very often. Um, she's got the Slim Sword. I'll, I'll, I'll test her out in the arena, but this is like low percent. She basically needs a Miracle. So she'll take uh, 14 damage, 28 damage. She'll actually probably win via Miracle. No, she didn't even need it. Yeah, magic. It basically depends on how much damage. She takes 19 and she just dies. Yeah, alright. We could try to heal her or something. I don't know. I don't know if she probably doesn't have a promotion, right? Like... This is totally silly, but... Ah, oh, the animations! <laughs> Will I ever remember? Alright, do... Time to get deployed. We'll heal him up on the way. He can start stealing money, or Ira can give him some more, although she's... We've actually spent a lot of the team's money, but... Obviously that was the plan, so it's fine. Alright, one more turn, and I'm not even gonna do the full turn, I'm just gonna do the arena part speed through all this. Sorry, guys. We'll talk more about our overall strategy when we come back for the proper progress episode. There's bandits everywhere. There's Pegasus coming down. We want to watch for that. That will be for next Ankylo. Alright. All we're really focusing on is these guys down here. Does Aideen need to go back into town? Not really. All she needs to do is give money to Midir. Right. I just didn't see it. Right there. I was looking at the other choices. Alright. Medir goes in. He can't move, so we have to dance. Claude gets deployed because... He needs to be hanging out with... Sylvia. No, Sylvia's still in here. I don't know if they're making love <coughs> in here. But... Uh... I guess I'll deploy him now anyway, just to get him on the field. But I gotta put him by Sylvia, and he basically has to stay by Sylvia. This is actually gonna heal a couple people up that are injured, so sure. Ah, oh, animations! <laughs> they have really good level up, though. I'm not even gonna consider putting him in the arena, it just doesn't matter. He doesn't need the grind. Alright, this is it. The final arena of the chapter, well, at least of the beginning of the chapter. I might go back in with a couple people, but this is almost everyone done if we win this one right now. Visit town. We have enough money. This worked out amazingly close, but we got it. I'm going to speed through it pretty quick, but look up, pay attention. He got this, Medir. All right. He got this, Medir. I'm just going to trust in your stats. You can do it. Strength up, speed up, good, level up. He's had some really bad level ups, though. He needs a lot of those to make up for it. Flame Sword, not very good. He got it. He don't got it. Come on, Medir. What What are you doing, bro? 
Come on, Medeer. You can't lose this early. Medeer. No. This guy has a 60% to hit you. You, like, never dodge. Why can't you hit him? 62%. I mean, it's 60 versus 60. At 1 HP, obviously, his odds are not in his favor. But, like, it seems like most of the time he just does nothing. Oh, my dear. I should have left the killer bow. I really thought he would get through this one without any problem. The, the flame sword does so little damage, I thought, like, there'd be no way to lose. Well, he found a way to lose. Well, this puts... This is, like, the last one that didn't get promoted. Everybody else managed to do it except Madeir. And I'm out of options now because everyone's left. Other than just trying all day long. Oh, that's... I'm not happy about this at all. I guess his odds at 1 HP are just not very good. <sighs> I'm going to end the episode. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm going to try a little while off camera to see if I can figure a way out to get him promoted without spending too long on camera. But uh, we got to call this an episode. It's already been stupidly long. Probably have to cut it in half again because I keep going overboard. Anyway, next episode, no matter what, even if we can't promote uh, our lame archer, we're going to finally look at the chapter and make some progress. I promise. I promise. 100% ankylo promise. I'm also going to remember to turn off Claude's animations one day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our arena plus equipment figuring out. It's probably overkill, but it's also kind of fun. Kind of fun. 3 out of 5. See you next time. Have a great day.